Hi guys, it's the first day of spring and I wanted to take this opportunity to show you all the things that I've started from seed and to also show you my greenhouse. This is called Kikinda and this is a competition strain gourd and it grows seven foot long gourds. These are all my black crim tomatoes. They're doing really good. These are all my bell peppers. I have corbacci. I have Jimmy Nardello and King of the North. These are my ground cherries. They're looking nice and healthy, especially since I up-potted everything. And then this here is just a mix of some zucchinis and some um, gourds and things like that. And then I've got a couple of cucumbers, one here, one there. And then these are my zinnias. And a couple of them already have little buds down in there. Kind of actually surprised. And then I have a whole bunch of sunflowers. I have a couple of different kinds. I have a uh, multi-headed sunflower that I saved seeds from last year, and this is a uh, Mongolian giant. These were ordered from Baker Creek. And I just up-potted most of all this stuff. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to fit it back into my grow room. <laughs> this is my new little sun deck that I put together. I just put in this planter. This is actually an, a door encasement to my dad's um, front door to his house when he replaced it. So I just used it as a raised bed. This is the new greenhouse. We got this from Costco. It was about 650 including tax. And it went together fairly easily. There was a couple hiccups, but... These are all the seeds that I have started. These are called the watermelon radishes here. We have some rocky top lettuce coming up. This is from Baker Creek. This one's called Bon Vivant. Not quite sure how to pronounce that, but that's all coming up real good. These are fire red orac. Look at that pretty color. And this is romaine. And then we got some marigolds popping up too. So I'm always spending money on marigolds. I'm like, I could save so much money just by starting my seeds. So these are my sacrificial plants. I'm not quite sure how they'll react with the overnight temps here in the greenhouse, but I'm, I'm hoping they'll be okay. So I'm putting a few of each kind in here overnight just to see how they do. And been slowly acclimating them to the sunlight. But then we got some pepper box poppies here. And I just planted some basil, cilantro, a couple of different types of cucumbers, and some nasturtiums there. And then over here, we have um, some blue shelling peas, and then some sugar snap peas. We have some sweet williams, um, some, some more cilantro, kale is coming up, I got some onion. Collards are coming up too. Um, got some garlic chives and some catnip, none of those have came up, I might have had to stratify my seeds, uh, which I just learned about today. So um, there's probably no wonder those are not sprouting yet. And then we have some beets here. We got some little teeny sprouts. All right, and I'm about ready to plant some of these pansies outside. Another nice feature to this greenhouse is I've added a thermometer and it shows the uh, humidity and it also shows the temperature right now it's 88 degrees Fahrenheit in here and it keeps a log of the last um, highs and lows of the last 24 hours which is pretty helpful so it got 93 degrees in here today was the high and the low was 41 this morning and I've just got this little heater it's kind of on its own little thermostat this is my bucket of soil and I have a, a nice scoop in there and then I do all my seed mixing in this bus tub that I got at the local restaurant supply store. And uh, that's really great for mixing my, my seed medium and my potting soil mix. And it um, keeps the greenhouse nice and clean. Amidst this coronavirus pandemic, I chose to spend my day in my greenhouse and planted seeds and up-potted my seedlings. And uh, 
had a really good day actually just trying to stay calm um, we're pretty prepared with everything so no need to panic <laughs> so anyways I'm gonna sit down here in this chair and enjoy the sunshine so you know they say the sunshine's really good if you have the flu to get the Sun on you get your bare feet on the ground and uh, connect with nature it's the best medicine all right guys signing off till the next video take care and be safe don't forget the toilet paper Ha, ha, ha.